This is an attempt to document how to reset codes on an FICT EMM. This is the back of the uh, MFI display. It is unplugged. Connector is down here. I've got a bypass loop between pins 1 and 3 that allows the start button to work properly. Plugged into 2 and 4 is the code reading LED tool. In uh, my case, it's got a very long cable. It runs all the way back to the engine area. On the top right is the TPS connector. You can see the um, it is unplugged. I just ran the engine for a few seconds with the TPS unplugged and the exhaust temperature sensor unplugged. So now what I'm going to do is a very simple switch method of resetting the code. This is a standard household three-way light switch. Uh, and I've already marked it with which way is, uh, quotes, on, but um, you can figure that out for your own switch. Um, on the back of the switch, you'll see one screw is a different color than the other two screws. The color, or the screw that's a unique color is called common, and uh, in my case, I've hooked it up to a white wire to fix um, TPS color codes. So now I'm going to connect the common to the center, one of the other screws to one outside and the third screw to the third outside. It's very important that you get this correct, that the common screw is connected to the center pin of the TPS connector. This is the wire harness connector, not the connector of the actual TPS. With the switch in the on position, this connects the center pin of the TPS connector to the positive 5 volt pin or red wire of the TPS connector. Um, the lanyard is in place, or it will be in place in a moment. And I already have connected the um, um, service jumper bypass to power up the EMM. Alright, so I'm going to trigger some codes and then clear them. The uh, TPS um, um, switch is off, which is essentially the same as uh, fully grounded and um, um, which is uh, below idle position. I'm going to start the ski, put the lanyard in. Remove the lanyard. Presumably by now a code has been set. Turn the switch on, which is full 5 volts. Lanyard goes in, switch is on, 5 volts into the uh, TPS signal wire. We have codes flashing here. Code sequence always starts with a long light. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. That was 41, and so on. So now we're going to clear the codes while it's flashing. Switch down, wait at least five seconds. Switch on, switch off, second, third, fourth, fifth. Remove the lanyard, switch back on, lanyard back in, let's see if we have the codes removed. Two single blinks, codes cleared. One, and one. That's it. Remove the lanyard. Remove 
do this again. Start the engine. Switches down. Lanyard in. Lanyard out. Switch on. Lanyard in. Let's go 12. Go 41. Go 43. Get along. Recycle and switch off. Wait five seconds. Switch on, off, on, off. Third time, fourth time, fifth time. Move the lanyard. At this moment, the code should be reset. Turn the switch on. Lanyard back in. Let's see what the codes are. One, one. That's it. Codes are reset. Remove the lanyard. This time I'm going to show how to reset the EMM trouble codes using a standard on-off light switch, household light switch. Obviously if you have an electronic grade switch it's uh, generally better than using a household grade switch which sometimes has resistance in the switch contacts. The um, one pin of the switch goes by the red wire in this case but directly to the red wire of the uh, TPS um, wire harness connector. The other terminal of the switch I'm using a white jumper, it goes to the center pin of the TPS wire harness connector. And what's important here is I also have a 1000 ohm resistor, which is color code brown, black, red. And uh, one end of that resistor is connected to the center pin of the uh, TPS wire harness connector. The other end of that resistor is connected to the black wire of the TPS wire harness connector. This resistor ensures that when the switch is off, any residual voltage on the uh, white wire center pin is dissipated and the EMM gets a clear signal that the uh, switch is off. When the switch is on, the 1000 ohm resistor does not affect the, uh, the signal to the, uh, to the EMM. So, with the switch off, I'm going to start the engine and uh, trigger a trouble code. Put the lanyard in. Trouble code has been triggered. Lanyard out. The switch was off while I just test ran the engine. Switch on. Lanyard in place. We'll get a long flash and then we'll get a trouble code sequence. There we go. I'm not going to bother for waiting for the sequence to clear. Turn the switch off. Wait a few seconds. Code stops flashing. Switch on. Switch off. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Okay, at this moment the code should be cleared. Remove the lanyard. Now I'll turn the switch back on and we'll see whether or not the codes have been cleared. Long sequence. One. One. Codes have been cleared. Long sequence. One. One. Remove the lanyard. That's it. The codes have been cleared.